All right, thank you so much, Afrin, this week. And court proceedings in the Alec Murdoch murder trial in Walterboro, there's been a lot of discussion and testimony surrounding cell phones and the data that's stored on our phones and how that data is collected and where it lives to be stored. Rachel Ripp has been covering this trial since it started. She joins us now in studio to tell us more about the specifics surrounding digital footprints and what it means to this investigation. That's right, Darcy. Andrea, a digital footprint includes a person's phone calls, their texts, their GPS location, even their steps tracked via cell phone. Now, this data court, this data, this is data rather that the court is considering under a microscope in the Alec Murdoch trial, specifically when it comes to Maggie, Alec, and Paul's digital footprint. Phones are staples in the 21st century. They're always on us, heavily tracking our every move. And in this double murder trial of Alec Murdoch, phone data evidence is everything. So where does this phone data live? Phones use many times SQLite databases to store information. So it'll have geolocation stuff from GPS stuff. It'll contain things like Bluetooth connections, where you can see if your phone connected to a Bluetooth device previously and when was the last time it connected to it. Turns out, according to witnesses who have taken the stand and specialize in technology, Putting a phone in airplane mode, removing the SIM card, and turning the phone off will prevent signals from transmitting. But solely putting it in airplane mode will still allow the phone to receive GPS coordinates, and it might even ring from a phone call. The network would still try to find where you're located, so if you're in airplane mode, the network may not know where you are, so it would still attempt to ring. Lieutenant Dove says shifting orientation of the phone from landscape to portrait is also recorded with timestamps, and so are footsteps. But there's a way to limit some tracking features. The majority of the time when you add a new app to your phone, it asks you, do you want to allow location services? Do you want to allow it all the time, only while using the app or never? You can also go into your own settings and change those location services. Witnesses say footsteps and distance walked on a phone isn't always 100% accurate when tracked. With possibility that a phone might move a short distance and not record steps. Dove says usually 10 or more steps are tracked. That also means not tracking steps while moving in a car. Now, witnesses say detailed Verizon cell phone records are usually kept for about 18 months. They add that a phone using a database can overwrite itself every two days or up to 45 days with always the newest data in and the oldest data out.